I decided to create this video on how to fix Wi-Fi internet issues. I came up with this idea after getting a call from one of my friends. Uh, he was having a real issue with his internet where when he's in one room um, close to his uh, router everything was fine but as soon as he leaves that room his Wi-Fi signal dropped like more than half where he could barely stream any video so it was just driving him nuts and um, he gave me a call up and I decided to go over and take a look it sounded like something I had worked on before while I was a technician so I had an idea what it was and I went over and checked and it turned out to be exactly what I thought it was so I decided to put together a video because I think quite a few people out there probably have this issue as well now some routers especially the more expensive ones have two frequencies a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5.0 gigahertz frequency the 2.4 gigahertz frequency uh, transmit at 450 megabits per second and the 5.0 transmit at 800 megabits per second so as you can see the 5.0 is much faster but the 2.4 is quite congested when I say congested what I mean by that is that the 2.4 gigahertz frequency is very well used. It is used for baby monitors, uh, cordless phones, garage door openers. It is very well used. And if you are in a high density area, like an apartment building, this frequency would be very well used in that area and you're going to get some congestion. So your modem may drop every once in a while because you're using the same frequency as so many other devices. The 5.0 gigahertz now is less congested. Not as many people use the 5.0 gigahertz. So it's not as congested. So what may happen here is that I believe that uh, my, my buddy was having this problem like before and somebody might have come by and they realized that um, you know by switching him it would solve the problem but it didn't really solve the problem it just created another problem they switched him from 2.4 gigahertz to 5.0 gigahertz okay so now he solved the problem with dropping the the internet wasn't dropping anymore that uh, router wasn't dropping but now he has another problem where he can only use his internet while in the same room when he leaves that room it becomes very slow so what he should have done in order to solve this problem would be to keep the 2.4 gigahertz and add the 5.0 gigahertz now he has two frequencies the 2.4 gigahertz actually goes further than the 5.0 gigahertz and so it's a stronger signal and it goes much further it's able to go through walls much more easily where the 5.0 gigahertz has a problem going through walls it could get through the walls but it loses its strength after it goes through the wall so it becomes a lot weaker so it's not able to get as far as the 2.4 gigahertz yes while being in that room it is fast but when it leaves the room it is not quite as fast so by using both the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5.0 gigahertz when you're in the room you would be automatically switched to 5.0 since that's the best the better frequency and when you leave the room you'll be automatically switched to 2.4 so you'll be enjoying the best of both worlds here um, you'll be getting the 2.4 and you'll get in the 5.0 uh, whenever is needed and you don't really have to worry about uh, switching it manually because it would all be done for you automatically so this is something that you might want to keep in mind if you're experiencing a problem like this um, you might want to take a look in your modem and uh, check it out or your router I should say uh, take a look within your router and check it out to see if you 
are just options for the 5.0. Now, there are a lot of routers out there that only have 2.4 gigahertz. The more expensive routers have both 2.4 and 5.0. I haven't seen any that have 5.0 gigahertz only. So you usually have a choice of 2.4 and 5 when you have both. You'll never have a problem where you can only choose 5.0 and that wouldn't go through walls as I said. You always have um, 2.4 gigahertz and 5.0 is added um, for the more expensive routers giving you the ability to use both 2.4 and 5.0. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the subscribe button below. We'll be coming out with many more videos like this one, so you'll be alerted as soon as our video is released.